So, taking a star reading test, I'm just going to go through this. I'm going to ask some of you to read the slides to just make sure you know what's going on, okay? So, um, Richie, can we start off with you, please? Speaking of star reading test, if you have never taken a star reading test before, it will begin with some practice. And you can see on the screen, it's, it's a bit like multiple choice. So you just read a short sentence and you're going to fill in the missing word. Please be careful. Sometimes you might think, oh, both of those words fit. You need to choose the word that you think is the best. Now, star reading tests have got to be really quiet, really careful. People need to concentrate. I don't want to see anybody talking. Don't want to see anybody looking at their friend's screen next to you. The simple reason, depending on how you start at the beginning, you get a little practice. We're going to talk about the practice in a moment. When you first look at the screen, you might have the same question as your neighbour, but once you start getting into that quiz, things are going to change. So don't be tempted to peep, just get in the zone and focus on your own screen. You can pick your answer by clicking on the correct answer with your mouse, pressing the correct number on your keyboard, tapping the answer on your iPad screen. We need to talk to Miss Duncan and get some nice iPads. Um, you'll have to answer three practice questions before you begin the actual test. Right, there's 34 questions to answer during the test. That's the scary bit, but 34 questions is going to go quite quickly. First, first 10 questions, you're going to ask to, be pla ask to place the word in the sentence, like we just explained at the beginning. Sahara, these are going to be the hardest questions. They're the easiest ones, because it's literally a sentence, or maybe two sentences, and put in the best word. Um, David, can you read that screen for me? Questions 11 to 34. The other 24 questions will give you a longer passage to read and will ask, ask you questions about what it means. Okay, so just looking, you can see it's a lot of a ch chunkier piece of text. You've still got to go through, read which one is the most <coughs> sensible answer. Take your time, there's plenty of time. A little icon will appear to tell you if we're approaching the time limit, and it's not like countdown, you know, boom, boom, going really quick. Relax, take your time. If you can't answer a question, don't guess. Let the time run out and wait for the next question to load. But during the test, um, somebody different with a nice loud voice. Abdul Rahim, can you see to read that? Do not talk to anyone, do not distract anyone. Do not try to help anyone. Try your best to pick the correct answer on the Do not Okay. Any questions from anybody? Did it tell you how long the test would take usually? What's the, the right amount of time? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So 20 minutes is average. You can take longer than 20 minutes. You can take 17, 18 minutes. But in my experience, people that rush it and don't take the full 20 minutes, you're not going to get the best results for you, okay? So if you think your year sevens, 11 and a little bit, when you first came to, we first come to school in September, I'll be able to tell you at the end what your reading age is. Off we go to the computer room.